Okay, just arrived in Switzerland, Switzerland. Did I put my head on? Ugh! Can't even get up. First things first, they said you have to have a chocolate when you come in, so... I'm really liking the sound of the hostel, I'm like... <laughs> it didn't look very nice when I booked it, but like... It's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I like it. It's got like a little... Starry night theme going on. But from what I've seen us with uh, Zurich, beautiful, looks amazing. But yeah, welcome back to Tiruses. <coughs> I gotta say, traveling in the heat is getting harder and harder. I'm just getting like more overwhelmed and just like, <laughs> that train journey was very um, overstimulating for like no reason. And I didn't, I didn't enjoy it so much. So, but yeah, welcome back to Tiruses. Yeah. <laughs> That is like New Zealand water. <clears throat> I gotta say, one of the many things I've learned about being from New Zealand is it is a it is a privilege. Like one of the biggest privilege to have incredible drinking water. This, wow, just wow. All right, let's go suss out Zurich and maybe get some McDonald's. But I haven't had lunch and it's literally dinner time, so yeah. Zurich. <clears throat> Alright, I don't have a plan today. Like, I've got no plan whatsoever. I There's not a lot to do in Zurich, but I think I'm honestly just gonna relax. And I feel like a lot of things will be closed on a Sunday because it is Sunday. Yeah, I'm looking around, I'm like, the shops are closed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna like walk around and just have a chill one. Truly the best coffee I've had since New Zealand. to the hostel and guys I Zurich has such a nice vibe it's super relaxed laid back everyone was down by the water however nothing is open um, which means there is like nothing to do apart from just relax so I've honestly I've taken like I've taken I've taken that into consideration and I think I'm literally just gonna relax I think I might go back down with my book in the late afternoon maybe take a nap um, work on my Rome vlog, which will be out probably soon if I work on it today. Just taking it slow. I feel like I need a rest day. I feel like I just need to relax. And Zurich is like the perfect place to do it. Like, I had such a great time just listening to some good house music and chilling. Like, it was it was lovely. Um, super like New Zealand vibes. I don't know. My only downside is that it is very expensive, but what can I do? So yeah. And I've, oh my gosh, I've literally just got so much chocolate. Well, like, when is Zero, right? Like, I don't know. 
the state she's in. All right, guys, I'm heading to Bum today. And, um, loved Zurich. Didn't do anything. <laughs> but, like, the vibe was there. The vibe was there. Didn't drink. What? Also, there's nobody in this train. This is gonna be a great journey. I can feel it in my bones. But yeah, I didn't drink. I didn't do anything. Um, the only thing, the, the reason that stopped me from drinking is I needed a break. <laughs> and it is... I actually didn't even realize how expensive the Switzerland is until you go to the supermarket and you're like, <sighs> but it's really good quality. It's really good food. Like, I don't know, but yeah, so that's the next destination. Um, just got to the hostel in Bern. And I can't check in till three, and it's currently one. Um, but there's no like luggage storage, so I have to kind of wait until three, which is just, I wanted to walk around, but like, looks like we can't. So, I don't know, we're just gonna, just gonna wait around, I guess. It's the only thing we can really do, so. There's nothing else to do but to make lunch and have some tea. Guys, I've never had this before, but like, wait. Someone's in my bed. I'm definitely H, because that one's G, and that's H, but I don't know if I should go down to reception and be like, what's going on? Or, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that because I'm lost, bro. <laughs> Someone's in my bed. <laughs> don't you worry, it is all sorted. Of I don't know where that came from, but it's sorted. I just don't know because the guy at reception was so lovely, was so helpful. He he said that if the girl starts complaining, go tell him immediately. And because I just don't know why you do that. Like, why would you take someone else's bed? Like, it clearly stays. Anyway, everything's sorted. Everything's good. But I am a little bit worried. But I have been traveling for seven weeks now, and I I know it's not that deep. But like, yeah, when you've been traveling for seven plus weeks. You just don't care about, like, I just don't care anymore. I want, I paid for this bottom bunk, I'm gonna get this bottom bunk. Like, I paid money for this. Like, I don't care that much, but like, it is just really annoying. It's, it's actually just kind of rude. Like, it's just hostile mother freaking etiquette, bro. It literally says on the house rules, do not take the bed that you're not assigned to. Like, <sighs> anyway. We're in Bern. I'm actually feeling quite ill. Like my glands are super swollen. I'm very lethargic. So I literally just sat around and I think I will have a nap. But if you're thinking about staying in hostels, do not take someone else's bed. Cool, thanks. I don't know, that was such a rant, but. Okay, well, a little bit of an update on my story. The lady comes in. I'm having a nap, okay, like I'm asleep, I'm napping, because I'm so tired, and she wakes me up, and she's like, why did you stop swap beds with me, and I'm like, what, excuse me, this is my bed, anyway, she's like, no, 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 like, you swap beds with me, why, and I'm like, it's my bed, like, read the letter, lady, and her English is really broken, and she just like huffs at me, and then continues to do Duolingo really loud. Oh, guys, I'm getting sick of hostels, not gonna lie, but I need some food. And just something. I need to walk around or something. <coughs> Angry. <laughs>
really ill today. My glands are super raised and I didn't have a good night's sleep. The people in my room was, it was a bit of a traumatic experience. I'm just a bit over hostile as I think, but I am going out to see Burn. There's a few things I wanna do, but I don't think I'm gonna be out for very long. I think I'm gonna get coffee, revive myself, and then we'll, we shall see. But. If you can tell, I'm at the bear sanctuary. <laughs> There's like a bear sanctuary in the middle of Bern and it's kind of random but kind of cute. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a real life bear. <laughs> what? Oh, the bears were so cute. Even though I could rope you to shreds, but they were so cute. I don't think I've ever, that was the first time I've seen a real life bear. <laughs> so weird. Guys, burn is lovely. I just do not have the energy to keep going. I actually feel really unwell. My, like I said, my glands, I've got a really bad headache. I'm just not thriving. But Coke has magical healing properties. I will probably go back out later to see the sunset. But right now, I need to rest. I am fading really fast. I have no energy to walk around. I only have energy to sit down, which is bad. And I want to be revived. So we're, we are resting for the rest of the afternoon. And then I need to go back out, get some uh, dinner. Gonna have soup, but. For real, I actually thought I had the whole room to myself because it's 10 p.m., but one person has checked in. But like, guys, I'll still take it. Like one person is nothing, <laughs> literally nothing. But I am feeling a little bit better. The neck, the neck pain has gone, weirdly. Um, had a fail soup. It was gazpacho, I didn't know that. Did like it, but ate it anyway because you gotta do what you gotta do when you're hungry. Um, but fully sent in its beard and I'll see you tomorrow. Just don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. I want to do a day trip, but we'll assess weather-wise. That's my life. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing the day trip, regardless of the weather. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, though. But it is currently spinning. But I want to go do it, you know? We have to.
Okay, I'm back in the hostel. Don't mind me, I'm literally just grooming myself. <laughs> um, I'm just doing my eyebrows because they are a mess. But anyway, this Italian was so beautiful. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I forced myself to go. I was just a bit put off by the weather, I think, but I feel like the weather just makes, sometimes the weather makes or breaks. And I think it'd be beautiful in the sun, for sure. But like, there's something so special about the gloomy mountains. And just, it's like, oh, I love it. I just, I was listening to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack on the way, and it just fit the vibe perfectly. I definitely felt like Interlaken was very much like Queenstown. Or maybe not even Queenstown, maybe like Franz Joseph, because there's no, there's no like, there's no, there's not really a lake. The lake's kind of out of the city a bit. I really enjoyed it. I just found it so peaceful. And I bought some souvenirs. I actually bought this little guy. It's like a little Swiss Army keychain. Bought a couple of fridge magnets. I went shopping, guys. <laughs> I never go shopping. But Switzerland as a whole, absolutely love Switzerland. I really, really, really want to come back. Back when I have like money to spend because <laughs> the bank is freaking dry, man. Now I'm heading to Fosse, which I'm very excited about. I'm really excited for France. I'm pretty much super pumped for France. Um, I just, I'm getting really over the whole traveling thing. It has been, it's coming up two months. I've only really got like just under five weeks left. <laughs> what? But I am kind of relieved, but also really sad. And yeah, I also feel like I didn't do a lot in Switzerland. I was kind of sick yesterday, so that just took me out. Yeah, this is it for the Swiss vlog. I am really excited. That's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm really excited to enjoy my chocolates. <sighs> But I will see you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, vibe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow.